Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin this Holy Mass by preparing ourselves to encounter the Lord. Let us be sorry for our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you with the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, Incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There's none to plead your cause, nor remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. 
They do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punish you cruelly. Why cry out over your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob. His dwellings I will pity. City shall be rebuilt upon hill and palace restored as it was. From them will respond songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many. They will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His son shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his ruler shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me? Says the Lord, You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. To hear the groaning of all the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Please stand. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. 
After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came forward, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to, the, to land at Genesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, it is not really surprising that Jesus was able to walk on water. Remember that Jesus is both human and divine. And as divine, Jesus has power over nature and over all of creation. As God, Jesus could always do what is humanly impossible. And so as God, Jesus could easily walk on water. But what is really surprising is that Peter, a mere human being, was also able to walk on water. Yun ang mas nakakagulat. When Jesus bid him to come to him, and Peter trusted, trusted in Jesus, he was able to walk on water. He was able to do something that is humanly impossible. But when he started to be afraid, when he started to focus more on the winds and the waves than on Jesus, Peter began to sink. This is the same experience of the people of Israel as we heard in our first reading today. Because of their sins, because they abandoned the true and the living God, and because of their arrogance that they trusted more in themselves than in God, the people of Israel sunk deep into the waters of misery and doom. Kapag nagtitiwala sa Diyos, nagagawa 
ang tila baga imposibleng mangyari kahit na lumakad pa sa ibabaw ng tubig. Pero kapag mas nagtitiwala sa sarili, lumulubog, nalulunod sa tubig ng ating kasalanan at ng ating kayabangan. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus invites us to renew our trust in Him so that we too may be able to walk on water. Let us trust in Jesus so that we may walk over the stormy seas of our lives. Let us trust in Jesus so that we may walk over the big waves that come our way. Magtiwala tayo kay Jesus at tiyak lalakaran lang natin ang mga bagyo, pagsubok at problema sa buhay. Pero kapag mas nagtiwala tayo sa ating sarili, lulubog tayo, malulunod lamang tayo. Trust in yourself and you will surely sink. Trust in Jesus and you will walk on water. Please stand. Let us make our prayers as God's faithful people looking to Jesus Christ. As He encouraged the wavering faith of St. Peter, so we know He is always with us, His hand outstretched to strengthen us and raise us up. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church of God, visibly united around the successor of Peter and the Apostles, may be guided by the power of the Lord's presence amidst the crises and storms that they encounter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That there may be peace and justice in those nations divided by war and conflicts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy seas of life may find in the church a heaven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find consolation in Christ's healing and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may find heavenly rest in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, as you receive these prayers, grant us strong faith and abiding trust in your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Holy Sister. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.